Meteorologist Chris Haddings here. I also like some more snow on the way, especially as we head towards Sunday into the first part of next week. Just a quick video here to give you a heads up of our first thoughts about this. This probably will change. First thing I want to show you is the uh, timing of the expected impacts of the snow. Now, there will be some light snow across the western mountains today, but any steady or heavier snow should probably hold off probably until about Saturday night, especially Sunday into Sunday night be the maximum impact out there. Then shifting east of the divide as we head toward uh, the Monday time frame. Now, if you're traveling around this weekend, especially east of the Continental Divide, shouldn't be any problems there. A little wind in the usual spots, but nothing bad. Then conditions probably going downhill from uh, northwest to southeast as we head toward Monday afternoon. And the worst conditions there maybe not coming in as we head toward the Tuesday time frame. But again, a lot of uncertainty on that. Now, as far as our initial thoughts, as far as snowfall amounts, I'm not going to give you exact numbers because it's way too far out. Well, I'll show you some uh, ranges of probabilistic stuff, though, that we have here. First thing I want to show you is probably expect at least this much snow. Now, this only goes through Monday night. Now, there probably will maybe some more on Tuesday, especially as you head further to the east. You can see in a uh, best-case scenario, if you don't like snow, or worst-case scenario, if you actually like snow, some places might not get anything more than the coating across the Bighorn Basin, also east of... Uh, the big horns are on KC, maybe, and around Casper. Now, out west, where most of the snow will fall through Monday night, worst, the uh, lowest amount, probably anywhere from about an inch or two across the valleys, maybe four or five inches across the mountains. You can see a little bit more of a maximum here across the south end of the Wind Rivers. Now, the likely uh, maximum amount of snow, maybe the worst case scenario, if you don't like snow, if you have to travel, will be this. Now, remember, this goes through Monday night. There could be additional snow on Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, if things set up right, and I'll explain why in a minute. You can see uh, many lower elevations are east of the divide, anywhere from about two to five inches, depending on where you are. And across the mountains, you can see some places maybe picking up a foot, maybe 18 inches in some places by Monday night. Now, the uncertainty we have here, especially east of the divide, is there will be an area of low pressure forming down here. This is where Colorado would be. I know I'm not pointing at anything here, but it's off the map down in this area. What happens when you get these lows wrapping up is they'll take the moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and try to wrap it back up and around like this. Now, the models are still all over the place, depending on how far back it takes this moisture, and also how deep a lot of that moisture is, because there could be some thunderstorms in the southern plains that rob some of that moisture. So, don't take, take this with a grain of salt. This probably will change, but that's the big uncertainty. And you want areas that may get hit the hardest. Since the best chance of that moisture wrapping will be further east, I'd say areas Buffalo down toward Casper, especially east of the Bighorn Range, maybe east of Waltman, may see the uh, best chance of seeing a good snow out of this as we head toward the first part of next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.